<laughs> All right, Dr. Hatchin, let's get to some of the questions from our viewers. Let's start with the first here. Can you catch this more contagious COVID variant from surfaces? Great question. Short answer is we don't know yet because, again, we're studying this both in real world settings and in laboratory settings. But based on the wild type or original strain of SARS-CoV-2. Again, we've heard from the World Health Organization and CDC and all of the microbiologists like Amy's sister and infectious disease researchers that fomite transmission, that surface contamination or spread is not the major root of spread of this virus. It's a respiratory virus. It spreads in the air. All right. We have talked a lot about vitamin D as a preventative. Mm -hmm. This question is interesting. Is there proof the vitamin D supplements will help fight the virus? As a treatment, no, there is no proof, but there is a lot of research on this, not only, as you say, for prevention, but also for treatment. What the science already does say in the world of vitamin D3 and its association with respiratory infections, particularly viral respiratory infections, is there is a mechanism. Vitamin D3 can reduce inflammation. It can boost the immune system. And we also know by observation that a lot of people who have died of COVID-19 also had or have low vitamin D3 levels. So that's why they're looking at it, but there is no conclusive evidence that it can be used right now as a prevention or a treatment. All right, question number three. It's a sugar question. This was not mine. <laughs> but knowing that refined sugar can be harmful, how much fruit sugar is okay to have daily? Well, TJ, do you remember your biochemistry? We know that you don't remember the mitochondria, but <laughs> <laughs> no. This, listen, this is complicated, okay? Yeah. But biochemistry, and we learn about this in medical school, we learn about this at getting a degree in nutrition, of fructose, which is fruit sugar, it still gets metabolized down to sugar, glucose. glucose right. Sugar, right, exactly. All sugar is the same, ultimately. So right. there is no recommendation, because of course there are a lot of good things about fruit, fiber, micronutrients, and that is part of a healthy diet. But at the end of the day, sugar is sugar, and we do know there is recommendation for added sugar maximum. 25 grams a day added sugar maximum for women, about 34, 36 grams a day added sugar maximum maximum for men. How many gummy bears is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I will say berries are lower in sugar than most Correct. fruit. So that's my go-to. Me too. Just if someone's looking for a little. Gummy tip. bears, I'll get back to you tomorrow. All right, thank Please. you, Doc. Uh, you can submit your questions to Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.